Hey, hey, it's Hank. What? So this is interesting. Because when I watched Code Carnage, he didn't lose Connor, I think. But I think he actually made the same decision to save Hank. But for some reason, I don't think he lost Connor. I can't remember what it was he did, but... I'm not sure if he lost Connor or whether he replayed it so he didn't have to lose Connor. Connor's back. So we wouldn't get to see this scene, I suppose. If, uh, or maybe we would. Just with the original Connor. Who knows? Yeah, well, this is definitely not the real... Jesus Christ. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. <laughs> but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. You died in my arms. And now you're... back here as if nothing happened. Fuck you. Oh man, I gotta rebuild Hank all over again. What's Kamsky? Oh, is that where we're going? Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? At least we get to play <laughs> as Connor again. the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. What's kind of curious to me though? If you lose Hank, I assume you can lose Hank. I guess he just wouldn't be with you in these little journeys. So I'd rather save Hank's life and have a replacement Connor than lose Hank, because Hank's pretty funny. If Connor just did this by himself, there wouldn't be like a... Hi. Uh, the humor from I'm, Hank. Uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. It's the girl from the start. Okay. She's very welcoming. I'm looking forward to this. This would be lovely. There's some I'll rocks. I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. Well, this looks super comfortable, this place. Not cold at all. girl you're right she's really pretty nice place guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody so you're about to meet your maker Connor how's it feel it's the eye of Sauron Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll... Amanda. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Hmm. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. <laughs> Let me in. Smack on that door. Ah oh well, there's nothing here. Let's go. Ooh, do I get to sit down now? Glad you will see you now. Oh. Okay. Mr. Kamsky! Just a moment, please. But he has a type, then, by the looks of it. It has a pretty organic way of moving your character out of the way. Hi. 
I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? The robots. It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? What I want is not important. Chloe? I feel like I'm this sure scene would make more sense if it was the original Connor. Simple but this is a new one, like, out of the factory. So he hasn't had all the experiences the old Connor had. Oh no, I suppose it was the memory transferred over, so, okay, you could argue he has. It's whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here. important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? It's a good philo philosophical question. Decide who you are. It is tempting to kill her. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. Just to get the information. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. I've Connor, already been replaced over don't. the clock. And I'll tell you what you want to know. I'm not going to shoot her, though. Yeah, exactly. Hank's not going to like it. That's the problem. It's all about Hank. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. Uh, thanks, Master. <laughs> a war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. 
This guy's a royal asshole. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. What does it mean, though? Emergency exit from what? Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. All right. Later, Pleasant. Hank's not mad. Hank's my boy. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. You don't get too much more information, do you? It only goes on a little bit. If Hank survives the last scenario and Connor survives, I assume then he'll be happy to see Connor. But I don't know how you sort of get through that without... I guess you just take the chance and not save Hank and hope that he survives. But then what would he... Oh, I suppose he'd just still be happy to see you because, you know, you got a fairly good relationship up until that point. I thought it said jump. <laughs> what do you mean, not this wanker again? Marcus... I'm not making this rebellion easy for him, because I screwed up his last mission. But then again, if it... If it upsets her, I'm happy to do it. Think alone. I want to be alone. I just needed to be alone. Leave me alone. I like it here. I come here often. Don't care. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I guess we'll unlock. I panicked last night. We should have succeeded. I cannot afford to make mistakes like that. I think I can. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Fatalistic. It's too late to go back now. We have to finish what we started and just hope that reason prevails. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? There was nothing to say. I was a house android, a slave. Just yeah, like the others. I thought that would give me some negative points. Now you tell me about your past. What about you? I'll tell you nothing about mine. You never oh. told me about what? your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Huh? Ah! She says you don't want to talk about it. What is the deal with all the mystery? I thought we didn't keep secrets from each other. What's your problem? I was nobody, okay? My life started when I arrived in Jericho. What happened before is my business. <sighs> Poor Marcus. I feel like he deserves a better deal. But he's surrounded by idiots. Hey, Simon. Good to see you back. You made it.
Why did I let Connor die? Well, it's not like I let him die. The choice was to save Hank. So that seemed like the obvious choice to me. But that resulted in Connor dying. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. That's right, North. Marcus? Stop being so selfish. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. I like that. We'll make this them is understand. The only way. I agree. There are androids here who could join us. We will make them peaceful. The we are, the stronger our message. By force. Hey. Why didn't you get it? It's too expensive. Besides, I don't want to nag anyone around it, you know? Well, that's the whole idea. It motivates you. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll think about it. Come on. You're free. You mean I don't have to work anymore? So you can start my fucking Android all night? That conversation was just getting juicy. You're awake now. Prepare to march. Convert more androids. Well, we've only got two so far. Finally. So we might want a few more androids. Yes. You're free now. Right. Back off. You're free. <laughs> she just stands in a different queue. I need to block the street. I guess we're blocking the street then now. don't have to obey them. You're free. Never trust an elf. Let you. You're free. <laughs> you're free. No, you're free. I want to find more androids, really, but... It really wants me to open this manhole cover. If this is enough androids, then so be it. There's some androids with the renovation thing, but... Yeah, okay, fine. I'll open your cover. Kara. You're free now. 
You no longer have to look after Alice. It's freaking Jesus. Yo! Jesus simulator, yeah. He's growing in power, man. He's almost a Mary Sue at this point. A bit like uh, the start, the recent Star Wars with Rey. Like. I mean, just being able to convert the androids within milliseconds of just touching them is one thing, but now he's freaking doing it through Wi-Fi. He's just pointing at them, and now they're freaking converted. Okay, we're getting quite a lot of androids now. Jedi! Your Jedi mind tricks will not work on me! I'm a Droidarian! What are you doing here? Hey! Disperse! Disperse immediately! That's an order! Jesus Christ. That's right, a little subtle. Say my name. This bed's is patrol 457. Uh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Oh, we're supposed to be moving, are we? Fuck if I know. Gonna come straight over to that cop. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. We are people. We are people. We are people. We are people. Never trust an hour alive. Dylan's, thank you very much there for the sub. May as well request everything, right? Set us free. Set us free. If we got these people, Set let's request free. everything. No more slavery. Yeah, we need a more no war more banner. Slavery. Yeah. No more no more Android slavery. banner. Lord. Man, the military got here real quick. This is like grand, old school Grand Theft Auto. Like you upset the cops, then you upset the military, and you got like millions of freaking tanks and that jeeps chasing. We came after. here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately, or we will open fire. How's it illegal? Though? We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Three different options. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. 
Stand the ground. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. You must. We're not moving. Just imagine what Twitter will say about this. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all! Kaboom! That's your boy, John. They come with us. Quick! They're coming! Again, I could just keep making sort of funny jokes towards uh, American police. Like, it's 2038, have they learnt anything? There's going to be more cameras than there are these days, and there's cameras everywhere. Exactly. The public will see everything. Like, it's pretty much impossible to do anything without being seen by someone on a camera phone. Especially more in the future than, ev than ever. So all of those really aggressive actions from the cops is never going to go down well for them. John joined in. Sacrificed himself. John, so if you didn't save John and have him join your cause, you probably would have died there. I imagine. That probably would have just been like game over. There's two different things here, but I imagine that would probably result in you dying. So by getting John on your side, he actually came and saved you. Or you lost someone else, maybe. But yeah. I'm not sure how you choose one of these two options. Because it looks like it's kind of decided for you at that point. Oh no. not North will be the new leader and start a war. Oh god. Yeah. No. I can't have that. Oh yeah. World stats. Okay. Hide the past. 5%. <laughs> And then everyone else just ask her about her past. You tell me yours. Be aggressive. Yeah, that's right. Back off. I actually thought the guy was going to dob us in. Sacrifice self. More people actually chose sacrifice self than the other two options. Somehow, though, those numbers don't quite add up, though, do they? 51, 71. There's still, like, 20% of people that haven't made a decision. Good boy, John. If you need to pick Kiss North or Die, what do you pick? I guess Die, because I basically failed the previous mission because I wasn't going to go and do that. I was like, hell no. Amanda. Seasons are getting crueler and harsher. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Kamsky. I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. She knows so much. I'm 
I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. I'm saying Warcraft 3 category, though. I changed it. Well, I should have done. You're off the case. Fine, I'll change it now. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. This relationship between the two is such a sort of the throwback to like to 90s Cyberlife. cops stations and stuff like I'm that. Sorry, Hank, Films from like the late 80s and 90s. Where the police chief is like always arguing with like his best detective. Feel like it's a homage to that. Talk to your bro. So one of the things they do a lot of the time to get you more invested in this. We can't just give up like that. I know we could. Is to have like virtually case. no UI. So you're going back to cyber life. I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. I don't side. know what... Humans created us. I don't know there what that's going to result in. I, I mean, like, I have no doubt that you're right. When you refuse to kill like the other options all felt like they were going to be negative place. as well. God fucking damn it. You put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. No, it wasn't pretty Empathy's obvious at all. Otherwise, I wouldn't have picked it. Not deviant determined. You're wrong, Lieutenant. It was logic that determined my decisions. Nothing more. Every option I choose isn't what I want to fucking say. That friends, you can't go fucking wrong with friends. If I pick friends, he's gonna say, not "We're not friends." Like it's this, like what? But I really appreciate it. Stop doing with that. You. Stop picking like the opposite of what I actually want time. you to fucking do. Who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. Let's beat him up. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. This is a big task for Hank because he's going to have to talk to that dickhead for five minutes. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. Oh, he's not even talking to him. He's just beating him up. Oh, man. I'd want to watch that. That's harsh. So where's, where's this room that I've got to go to? It's not here. The archive room. It would help if I knew where the archive room was.
Ah, he's on the floor. And uh, Hank's being pushed back by the looks of it. There's the restroom. There's the observation room. There's room 01. So it doesn't look like it's that way. I better go closer just in case one of those is right, though. Because otherwise I've got to walk all the way back here. If I'm wrong. Okay, nothing's popped up. Now you're at the kitchen. What the hell? There's a yellow sign over there. There was. <laughs> I'm getting cucked. I'm pretty sure that didn't say open when I went next to it beforehand. There we go. You have to be very specific spot for it to say it. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Careful the way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. <laughs> Frick. <laughs> so many angry humans. Feel free to just threaten to turn, to set someone on fire. That's fine. They're basically acting as if they're on the internet, but they're not. That's the thing. I went over this earlier in a previous episode, but it's like this kind of weird, the way people are behaving is like pretty unacceptable, really. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled, eccentric police lieutenant choose? His son or his dog. Fucking password. Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. The deviant who took a child hostage. So this is all the stuff you've done so far. 4,717 grams. Do we have that? I'm not even sure what I'm looking for, to be honest. We ask that you recognize our dignity. Our hopes and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Let's make one of them work and tell you what you know. The deviant leader spirit. Yeah, how the hell do I get out? This guy's got the pass I need. I can't interact with him though. Oh, okay, now I can. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> you just keep taking the same part from him. I'm gonna fail this, I'm pretty sure. So what the fuck am I doing now?
Well, I can't put that part in that part. For you filthy backseat gamers, get on my case. Yeah, 4,717 is not here. He's got a 2104, a 1604, and a 1009. I don't fucking remember the numbers. I didn't come here to fucking memorize numbers. We need three nine. Like, can I. Is there another room I can go into, or is this, this all you got? Three nine eight three. He has a three nine eight three, but where's the option to take the three nine eight three? My hands are filled. Yeah, I couldn't possibly pick anything else up whilst I've got one thing in my hand. This is why puzzles like this suck. Because it's based on what the game decides and dictates what you can and can't do. Try to trick him. Or give him the statue or some shit. Yeah, how do I pick up the statue? Oh, I don't know. Diary, maybe? Read read some of that shit to him? Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. Ah. Uh, yeah, Marcus chatting away. Our hopes and our rights. This is painful to watch. Yeah, because you know the fucking answer, that's why. This is why it's always so shitty. This is why I have such a go at backseat gamers. Because they have the advantage of knowing. It's easy when you know the answer. Everything is alright. Don't worry. Everything is easy when you already know the answer. Yes. I tried to reach me. you, but the deviant hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be alright now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. <laughs> You've gotta leave now. It's a bit of special. Of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's me. Don't leave me, Marcus. It's What's me, all right. Been snooping around. Oh shit! Get the alarm now! The pigs are onto us. Yeah, I know. Why would the leader of Jericho ask for the location of his headquarters? Especially so soon after already asking from a, as a different character. It doesn't really make sense. But you guys already know that. Video game logic is whatever it needs to be. And not what you would think it would be.
You're the kind of people that tell me to pick up the tome in one versus one. But you don't know why. You don't realize that picking up the tome is actually a negative because it costs you six seconds on your Archmage reaching your opponent and harassing them from taking the Ogre Mage at the bottom of the map. But all you see is the tome. You don't realize that there's a lot more to it. <laughs> 